So some of you are probably asking why, uh, with all the videos that I've done recently about the Faro products, that uh, I would have bought an, uh, an RTC 360 rather recently. Um, so I decided to do a little video here outlining most of the reasons why we decided to buy an RTC. Um, and really what it boils down to is, and you've all heard me say this before, um, there's no perfect scanner, but there is a perfect scanner for you. When it comes to the RTC 360, it came out in 2018. And it's, uh, it's time tested. It's, it's been around, it's been strong. It hasn't really changed a ton. Um, it's a workhorse. Uh, I know it can take a beating and keep on going. Uh, the last company I was with, they had they went six years. Now I don't always recommend that. Six years without a calibration or anything. And it's just still ringing true. And I tested it for a good long time. I did check shots for the entire first year, so I know that it is a quality, quality product. That being said, I don't know why they haven't really improved upon it at all, but uh, they knocked it out of the park with the Viz technology. I don't know why the products that have that same Viz have kind of struggled uh, since then, but the RTC nailed it. It gets it every time. Now, you're probably thinking, well, the Pharaoh does cloud to cloud on board and the, the uh, Regal does it all on board, 100% on board with the Regal. And ultimately, they do a good job. They really do. Um, it's still just a cloud to cloud though. With the RTC, there is an added benefit of the Viz. And I've tested the Viz. I've gone from one position around a corner up a flight of stairs and then onto a mezzanine and another level and it tracked and put the clouds together perfectly um, and then it did cloud to cloud so it was an extra bit of tying together that I really enjoy um, yeah the technology that came out in 2018 is still making it competitive against the newest scanners today in the market um, the data quality has been tried and true uh, it's hard to beat um, I'm sort of a data snob, so uh, when I say it's, it's good quality data, I mean it. Um, and it, it really lives up to the, uh, the slogan of like it, when it has to be right. You know, the BLK series, less so. Uh, but the RTC definitely is up there with the uh, MS60 TS16 as far as it can be trusted. The data quality is phenomenal. One of the big key factors for us is the, the ecosystem. Uh, Regal stops after registration. Uh, Faro has some BIM tools. Uh, Leica has an entire fleet of software that you can use with it from Cloudworks to uh, 3DR to, um, how'd you name it, BricsCAD. Uh, they have, a, they have a tool for about every job. Uh, and they're all really good tools. And furthermore, I know a lot of the product managers and people who run this ecosystem. So for me, it makes a lot of sense. Biggest factor though, and I, I'm 100% on board knowing that this is the biggest factor, is that no matter whether I pick it up or my business partner picks it up, uh, I know that we can take it out and we can perform well with it without any issues. And we bought the scanner for production. So that is a key, key factor. Now, now that we have this scanner, we might venture out to more other scanners or different types of scanners in the future. I'm still a really big fan of the Ferro Focus Premium. And once their registration software gets to a point that I'm comfortable with it, uh, it might be a contender. The Regal, uh, if, I, if I make that much money, uh, Regal is definitely on my list, uh, along with other ones. And 100%, I do not have any qualms saying that if we were doing a mobile scanner, uh, we would have a, be having a conversation about how, why I went with the Orbeez over everything else. Everything else. Um, and now, is it the best scanner in the world? Well, you've already heard me say there are no best scanners, but uh, I'm a huge fan of the Orbeez. Uh, and I've tested a lot of scanners. And I'm hoping to test a lot more. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, 
feel free to reach out. I'll do my best to off, offer my advice and, you know, good, honest opinion. I'm sorry, I'm stepping in duck crap all over the place here. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that is why there's no, no big secret. Uh, I've been part of the Leica environment for a very, very long time. Um, and I, I got a, an opportunity to pick up one of my favorite scanners. And I'll be honest, in 10 years, it'll probably still be one of my favorite scanners. Uh, it, I couldn't imagine a better first scanner for our new laser scanning service providing company. Uh, so yeah, that's it, guys.